What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we got an E-Revo here. We're gonna convert this baby for speed ones because I got no use for this baby. If I do, I do have doubts that I don't want to convert this, but then I want to convert, then I don't want to convert, but I'm gonna convert because if I need to bash, I'll just buy me another one. And, but to do any conversion on suspension, first of all, these are the tires we're gonna be using. To do any conversion on, we can't do it with these wheels because once we put those on, speed one wheels, it's gonna be different height and everything. So we want this baby to be, this tall we want this much off the ground in the front and in the back uh as you can see we, we got a measurement from the top let me grab my light again i'm sorry but again let's start over uh we want this baby to be like that much off the ground and uh in the back right now it's flush the way i like it but we do have to start the suspension from the highest level and same thing in the front so we had to do measurements from here from this height okay i love this truck uh but it's time to do speed ones with this baby anyways we're gonna keep everything stock so i want to put my wheels on those wheels are gonna go on and once they're on i'll show you guys but the system's gonna we got this uh hobby wing motor here 2250 kv badass motor uh, we'll get a new motor mount um, down the road. We'll get a new motor, new ASC, but we're going to run it stock. We'll probably put bullets on this baby. And I'm going to have to invest into some batteries that can fit in here perfectly. That's another story there. But this is a nice RC. So what I want to do is uh, I want to put spacers and tubings on these shocks. Um, and uh, same thing in the back. You won't see me do all that, but you've seen everything do. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure the, the spacing we need from this height as we lift it off the ground and measure how deep we're gonna go okay see how far it goes that's how much travel it does that's how much we're gonna eliminate but it's gonna be on the inside tough car to work on but no problem but anyway let's get this baby done and then we'll take a look there you have it guys so this is where the fun begins from now you see these wheels look at this baby this baby's looking real nice so now as you can see it already went down so if I had done it with other two V tires, with other tires, this truck would have been a little higher because I would have went by the height of those tires. So I still want this thing to drop a little bit. So as long as I can put my finger down there, it's perfect. In the back, about three fingers, and that's where we're gonna leave it at. So we're gonna lift it that high and measure everything. So let's get this job started. Again, we're gonna do this, and then I'll show you once it's open. The shocks are open. I'll show you what it looked like, what I'm doing in here. But other than that, so. Let's say I put this thing here, and once I'm gonna be ending up using creating tires as well, so it's gonna go a little higher, like that higher. So that's fine too. So I'm gonna be pretty happy with the suspension. So, Evo, bye bye. See you in the speed run section, in the speed uh, in the speed run area, in the speed run club, or whatever you want to call it. So um, this is what's going on here. We took out the shocks of this Evo, the front only. So I did have to take the mechanism off right here. So that's sitting down there. So what we what what I have come across was uh, this goes on the inside. So let's take this little guy. If I can manage with one hand, you know what? Let's put this this way. This goes on the inside, and the oil is super dirty in this little guy. So this is one of my most bashed RC. So let me see if I can put this in there with the one hand as well. If I can't, then we're gonna have to put the camera away. And there you go. So that goes in there. On the outside, we put one of these smaller ones. So it's all about your measurements, okay? It's all about your measurements. That thing was super dirty. Remember, this is one of my most fast RC. So we're putting fresh oil in there. <sighs> Should I have cleaned all this out and not do this while I was so all the gap you're gonna have is this is all the free play you're gonna have that little bit in there. So pretty much here's a complete one. Check this out. So it does have a small very right tough, but it can absorb a little bit. So that's gonna what's gonna happen in the rear. I measured um a little bit smaller okay the inside a little bit smaller outside a little bit bigger because the car the rear end has to stand up more so that's what we got here so far so e revos looking pretty good here and we'll continue and uh you'll see the back ones as well 
when you're done building your shocks the both front both back they gotta look equal you see i even adjusted the springs so they gotta look equal so this is what we're looking at right now also squeeze them they should squeeze equal amount so you don't want uneven surface uh, so the tire and car is just a little bit crooked but there you have it it's looking pretty good here there we have it guys the e revo is off the ground i'm able to put this i wanted a finger but i went a little bit lower than that because when i put my other tires on this baby will lift up a little bit like that much so we'll and but this is this is better than it will never touch the ground okay plus when that the rear end squats a bit uh it will kind of lift up in the front but we're not gonna i like it where it's at we're not gonna go any below or we don't want to come up and uh both of my tires will lift up equal amount together so suspension is kind of weird on these so i'll heat shrink tube shrink these so everything is nice and solid so the back came out pretty good look at that the rear came out really good on this e-revo uh let's work on i'm sorry the front let's work on the rear okay so we're gonna leave all this crappy stuff here and same thing we're gonna take off this bolt this bolt this bolt and the two bolts and the shock will come out or let's see how it feels about us just taking this off maybe because it got we got more clearance in the back one here hey guys so got a rear shock done here so what we did here is so it got a little bit of slack tiny amount um what we're doing here is on the back one we are putting a small little spacer that looks something like that that's gonna go on the inside and then this guy is gonna be on the outside so let me see like we did before let's see if I could do it again okay we're gonna go straight in there and this shock kind of did take a beating so I remember this was bent a little bit and remember now that your shocks gonna travel more so that rear end can lift up a little bit so that's why we're using a longer on the outside and a smaller on the inside and this little guy goes in and that's it so we got the same amount of slack you see in the front we had about the same amount of slack only thing is this is more extended and uh the shock is more longer now so the rear end can stand up so let me complete this and then we'll take a look once it's completed and then i'll put it in and we'll check the whole car out let me let you guys listen to this uh shock the small travel that it has without the oil so you could hear the hissing see that so it does have a little bit of slack and that's what you want a little bit it gets really strong with the oil but um it does got that slack okay and that's how we're gonna leave it so here we are look at look at this this like i said this is the most bashed rc i had this thing did jumps all kinds of crazy stuff so i adjusted my uh the springs here so you gotta have an equal amount so imagine look at this shock it's from here to here it's, it's the same height okay and they got the same travel pretty much everything we use in here i measured it and i took out two sets so whatever's in here is in here whatever's in the bottom is out here in it is the same equal amount so everything is nice and set so let's put this baby together we're all done here got everything back in place nice and tight and let's snug it i'm gonna have to figure that one out that might be a little bit stripped but that's fine let's change our bit let's lock up this baby right here and let's lock up this baby right here so once you're completed and if you're not happy with the height remember there was cars i've done three times each car i did three times so if you're not happy that's all up to you sometimes you gotta make yourself happy it's a little higher i could have went a little lower but i didn't want it any lower than that and uh i'm happy i'm happy i should have had done a little bit more so it could have been right there but that's fine okay it will squat there that's fine it will squat and be where i wanted to be at anyways perfect nice setup here love it e-revo is gonna be in action so let's put the body on and see what this baby look like with the body on we have it here comes the body so love these tractors bodies they clip right in and this one's kind of tricky it's got to go in there from right there and once it's in it will drop in lift up your rear here and this baby clips in there we have it badass e revo ready for speed one all right guys thank you for watching my video don't forget to subscribe share and like so pretty good setup here 
and we'll get some batteries and we'll mess around with some uh, gearing on this baby and uh, I might strap tie a little bit I don't like strap ties but I might strap ties a little bit because like I said uh, sometimes you might not be happy with your suspension because the height wasn't where you wanted at but uh, this is perfect so this will never hit the ground it will never hit the ground and uh, once it squat the front will go up a little bit and that's it thank you for watching my video stay tuned for more videos see you guys on the next one this baby is done now officially let's take a look last peek to this baby before it goes out there stock one and then we'll soup this baby up so here it is let me grab my camera first and my lighting is all over so whoop, straight to the wing we got some little uh baby bat wings we're gonna stiffen them up probably put some kind of rods back here and so it doesn't move around because this can uh, mess around with your vehicle i say wobbles so there you have it this baby is ready e revo is ready to go in action and don't forget to subscribe share and like so you can see this baby in action very very soon see you guys on the field you already seen the inside i cleaned the heck out of everything i'm gonna tune up my suspension a little bit as you can see uh the wheels are kind of sitting flush but also make sure everything with a couple of batteries inside is ready to go